Today's quick video will be about Bose-Einstein condensates. Typically we discuss three main states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. We have also added plasma to this, which is a gas that can carry an electrical charge. Now there is a fifth state of matter called the Bose-Einstein condensate, or BEC. A BEC occurs when the atoms start behaving like little waves and start overlapping one another until they eventually act like one wave and essentially become a superatom. They are not bonded or mixed. They have become indistinguishable from one another, having the same qualities and existing in the same place. This happens when you supercool a gas. The first rubidium BEC was made by trapping a tiny ball of a few rubidium atoms using lasers and magnetic fields. This process is tricky. If the atoms get too close to each other, they will form Rb2 molecules. A gas at an ultra-cold temperature will condense into a liquid and then into a solid if the atoms are allowed to interact with each other. To cool the gas, infrared lasers bombard the atoms from every direction. Laser cooling atoms entails carefully positioning a set of lasers and tuning them to slow down the motion of the atoms by kicking them with photons. This technique is commonly used to create cold clouds of atoms, but using it to create samples of cold atoms with a high enough density for BEC had so far proved very challenging. A key reason for this is that laser light can photoassociate neighboring atoms into molecules, which then leave the atom trapped. So keeping the atoms together to clump has been the issue. The technology has steadily improved since 1995, creating new kinds of BECs that can last longer, as well as solid-state quasi-particle BECs that can exist at higher temperatures. As we get better cooling techniques developed, we will begin to understand the why and the how of the BECs. A BEC is just like atomic white walkers, where they all where all the atoms have behaved as a single way and grouped together in very cold temperatures. <laughs>